Hi everybody, Allie here from AllieStamps.com and today I am here with a Teach Me Tuesday video for all of you and I'm actually going to be showing you how to convert some of your stamps and I'm going to be demoing that with the Vivid Vases stamp set from the Occasions catalog but I can't leave you with just a um, stamp mount video. I've got to be sure to show you a fun image or a, sorry a fun card design as well. So this is the card that I'm showing you. Um, this is actually one of the cards that we're going to be making as part of our online Occasions Soiree. Um, this is an event that that takes place online. Um, the live online version is on March 19th in the evening, but it's okay if you can't make it to that live version. If you're watching this video after that date, it's all recorded and downloadable right online with a link, and you get a downloadable PDF file for all of the different cards that are presented during the evening. So it's a fantastic event, and I hope that you are able to um, take advantage of that. You can find out more details in my online store at www.alleystamps.com backslash file store and you can grab it right there. So this is one of the cards we're going to be doing. Um, so in order to um, use my uh, my images to their fullest, I feel like I really need them in clear mount. So I want to demo for you how I convert my stamps to clear mount. So Vivid Vases um, wood mount is your only option. And you can use it like this, and I've used it like this for a while now, but um, the time has come for me to get it converted over to my clear so these come in big sheets. This has been very much cut down. I've used it a lot. Um, I want to say the size is 11 by 14, but don't quote me on that. Look in the catalog to be sure. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to just start by, and it's going to be scary at first, but you're going to just start peeling off this red rubber. So you're going to take your fingers and just pull the rubber right off of this stamp and you're going to be saying oh my gosh I'm destroying this thing but no worries um, this is the part that you want and then you do want to get all of this off the back and I find that it rolls off very easily with just my fingers so you're going to just go through and scrape all of this right away and if you find that any parts are being stubborn, you can grab an adhesive remover and just use the adhesive remover to help you get anything that you're not able to do with your hands. And you're just going to push all of this right off. And when you use an adhesive remover, you're pushing away all of that um, that stuff, but then it collects on the edge of this, of this and you're going to have to get that off. And eventually, you're going to want to trim down your adhesive remover with... Um, some snips so that you have a nice clean edge to work with so that it's more functional again. And your adhesive remover is actually going to disintegrate because you're going to eventually be cutting it all the way down from the square. Okay, so this is about um, the best that I can do today. Um, this one has been extra stubborn. Normally, I peel these off and there's only a couple specks of this rubber left behind. But this one was a little bit more, but that's okay. So if you experience that as well, um, it's not anything to worry about. Um, I think that I have used this image so many times, as is that I've kind of matted um, the rubber down in. It definitely is best when you do this when you first get the image rather than waiting. Um, so then you're going to take your conversion rubber and you're going to peel Peel off the backing so that the really sticky side reveals. And then you're going to take your red rubber and you're going to just stick that down right over top of um, that sticky piece. And then you're going to go through with um, scissors that you can get gooky. You don't want to use anything that you're going to be cutting paper or ribbon with. These are the old craft and rubber scissors we used to have when we were having to mount stamps all the time. So if you've got a pair of these still, they'll work great. So you're going to cut the chunk of this out, and then you're going to go through with your scissors, and you're just going to be cutting right around that edge. And you're going to just cut right around that red rubber. And this is also an opportunity for you if you want to cut it um, down a little bit more than the, the, the grid that was given to you. You can do that at this time and just cut it all in one shot. Okay, so all of this is going to get tossed. That's the leftovers. And now you're left with um, this image. And then this back has a peeling on it 
and you're going to just peel that off and then this is the static cling so now this is all set to be mounted to a clear mount stamp so I have one of those blocks here so you're going to go ahead and just mount that right on and then what is um, visible and showing is that clear mount um, foam on the other side of that um, so then I'm going to take I'm going to show you quick um, just how I did this main image of this card a um, little freebie little preview for what's in store for the um, the occasions online soiree um, so you're going to go ahead and you're going to take your stays on ink and you're going to ink up this image. Since it's a bigger one, I like to ink it in reverse. I like to use my pad on top rather than my stamp on top. And I'm going to stamp this image twice. So I'm going to stamp it once on the, um, the die cut banner, the pennant. And then I'm going to stamp it again on that designer paper and all I need for that is the face. I'm not going to worry about inking up the rest of the stamp too much. Stamp that down and then you're going to go through with some paper snips and you're just going to be cutting out each of these faces and since the image was stamped all at the same time you've got a nice pattern progression going across the vases. So when you cut out and adhere these vases to your cardstock, you're going to have um, a really nice look. So you'll just cut each of these out and adhere those down over top with snail adhesive and then you can color in the tops of the flowers. So then here's an example of that finished one and you can see that progression of that designer paper going across. So a fun little technique um, with using this image in a little bit of a different way for the paper piece, um, the paper piecing. You got uh, some tips on how to um, mount your your stamps, even though that didn't necessarily go the smoothest. It still shows you that it doesn't have to go smooth to still work, which I think sometimes can be more helpful than um, a picture perfect de demonstration or display. So I hope that you've learned something and feel empowered that you can convert some of those wood mount stamps. Um, and again, we would love to have you tune in to the online occasion soiree, um, alleystamps.com backslash file store, and you can find out more about um, getting access to that recording and download. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a good one.